Hey, what's up, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the King Geo Show. Um, I want to apologize for earlier on. This was supposed to be live, but we got caught up in the middle of something. And then after that, I started reading the full report of the Attorney General of New York um, for the allegations of sexual harassment on Governor Andrew Cuomo. Before I go any further, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit that bell right there on your right hand side, and that will notify you when IKG have uploaded a video. Now, after watching the Attorney General give out her speech on how Governor Andrew Cuomo sexually harassed these 11 women, not one, but 11 women, it's kind of appalling. Um, it's appalling because number one, any man in power or any person in power should have to do such a thing. Um, number two, his own office covered it up. They want things to be known. And those are the things that you don't do. Um, you know, you don't cover up those kinds of allegations. You make sure that you're the governor, you're the president, or, or some high office, that you investigate that. Um, and they, they, they chose not to do that. And that, that's a shameful act. Um, a lot of people are saying that Cuomo is being framed. Um, a lot of people are saying this is the Republican thing I'm doing, and it's not. Um, I truly do believe that these women were sexually harassed. Um, I also believe that he should resign. Resign and leave with your head up high. Because this doesn't look good for himself. Um, and, I'm not, and I'm not talking about this as, you know, Democrat. Because this has nothing to do with Democrat. I'm talking about this as a human being. This makes you look bad. Um, here you are, you're holding office. You're holding one of the highest positions in that state. And you're being accused, not by one, by 11 women. You said that you made inappropriate movements, touching, groping, stuff like that. And those are the things that, you know, that you don't do. And you don't, and, and you don't hide that. You don't cover that up. Those are the things you don't do. And, you know, and, and a lot of people also say, hey, King Gio, you know, she, you know why, why the woman takes so long? And my answer to that is... You got to ask them, you know, why they took long. Um, maybe some of them fear the shame. Some of them may fear that if they go forward, that once they go to go look for another job, a job will be given to them because they will know, they'll be known as the Cuomo girl or, or the one who, who, who accused Governor Cuomo. Or maybe the governor himself may, may blacklist her and make sure and put down that no one hires her. There are there are a lot of there are, there are a lot of reasons you know, and if, and if these women went up to the office of Andrew Cuomo, and they covered it up. How do you think they feel? They say to themselves, "Here I am. I'm at the office of this man, and they are covering it up." So what makes you think that if they're covering it up? What makes you think that the media is going to believe me? What makes you think that these people are going to believe me? So I just keep it to myself. And, you know, and and that's a shame that a woman has to feel um, that she has to be silent because the person that she's accusing, his, his or her team, is not going to allow it to go into light or won't do anything about it. You know, that's like the Catholic Church with all this accusation about the priest. The Catholic Church didn't do anything about it. All the Catholic, all the Catholic Church did was remove the priest. And put him, take, took him off from one church and put him in another church instead of instead of having that priest arrested, you know, for his acts of child molestation, you know. So it looks bad. I don't like to look at this as a party thing because a lot of people will do that. You have a lot of right wing people say, "Oh, you know, the Democrats, blah blah blah." But the you know, but the Republicans cannot talk about that because the Republicans also have gates on, you know, they're under their he, he's under the radar and. He has his little thing going on, but yet no one goes after him as the, the, the Cuomo. But um, you know, those are two fishes in the same barrel. 
you know. And I don't like talking about it as a political thing because, you know, the women that were assaulted, it doesn't matter they were reporting as the Democrats or the independent or whatever the case may be. The point is that two of 11 women got sexually harassed by one man, a man of power. You know, and if it's true, the criminal charges need to be brought up, they need to be brought up. You know, no one's above the law. You know, he should be treated like a regular person. And despite what he says, oh, you know, he, he can threaten the people, he can threaten the AG, he can threaten the police officers. You know, he can do many things. But if, you know, these allegations are true, then he has to be, he has to be held accountable for. Or unless, if he's not accountable, unless the women who, who came forward take compensation and they take a buyout, that's also a possibility. You know? But me as a man, I feel offended. Because you have an office, you know, you're the leader of the city of New York. And you're supposed to act like the leader. Not like a little, not like a little horny little dog. You know? And you can get any woman that you want because she's a governor. Why sexually harass those who work with you? You know? It's ridiculous, but he should resign and criminal charges if those allegations meet criminal charges. I mean, yes, he should be arrested and he could be impeached, be taken out. He's no different than Trump. You know, he should step down the office and let someone handle that. And then let him t- and then let him handle his let him handle his sexual assault on charges somewhere else, but now while you're acting governor, that doesn't look good to the state. And I'm not. I mean, I'm not. The, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I don't like putting down the party because the party's not going to do anything. The only one that spoke about that was President Joe Biden, and said he should resign. But everybody else hasn't said anything. At least you know to him or or his hotel or whatever the case may be. But. He should be held accountable. You know. So. Will prosecution. Will the prosecutors go ahead. And press Bill Cosby. And charge Bill Cosby with. Sexual assault. Or will they just. Leave it as is. You know. So it's. It's it's, it's a shame that. He hasn't said I'm going to resign. I'm sorry for my actions. And, you know, most of those cases are you buy a... You buy a lot of things, you know, and... and You're supposed to be here and and know that you cannot do these things because you're an officer. You know, you, 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 you hold the biggest position in the state. And it's embarrassing that 11 women come out and say, you did this, you did that. And then you go in front of TV to deny it. Yes. If you look at the video... Of Andrew Cuomo, you would see that he kisses a lot of people on the cheek and the forehead, and that my people, that's a European thing. Italians are very close to their family, and they're always their gestures, always kissing by the cheek, both male and female, and doesn't matter. So a lot of people try to take that out of context, you know. But if they can show proof that you know that he did do this and he did that, then he should be suspended. Just like everybody else. You know. So he should, he should resign. From office. And. Well, I, I know that. There's going to be some. If this, if this doesn't go criminal. Because. They came to some sort of an agreement monetary. And they'll probably have her sign. Or have them sign a non-disclosure. You know. An NDA. And take it from there, and then not be charged, and not be charged, or and not be charged criminally. You know, because it's up to the port authority, Green Borough Airport, and another airport, and the airport that you're flying from. Then they give you the flight number, and then you, and, and then the manifest, you are on the flight number, and you can show proof. But that's what you gotta do. You have to. Resign, let somebody else take office, and if it's true, 
pay the consequences. You have to pay the consequences, you know. So, let's just hope this get cleared up, that the young lady's death is not in vain. Also, the church core, amen. We have to take back our, our, our power from these politicians, because and not just politicians, but anyone in power, you know. We have to do that. Because, in his mind, he probably said to himself, oh, I'm the governor, I can do whatever I want. I got the House of Representatives, I got the city legislature, I got all these people behind me. So I don't worry about that. It's a power trip, you know. And that power trip is, is, is devastating and costing And it's costing him because of all this, all this neg negative reviews and, and all these negative TV shows. You know, in the, in the eyes of the public, who is John Travolta? You know, fading away. So, I just say, John Travolta. <laughs> so, we must hold Andrew Cuomo accountable. He must step down. And now I'm going for the party. He must step down so this way it doesn't look bad on the company's um, guide. So, make sure. That if this happens to you, say something at the moment. If you don't feel comfortable in the office, say it from the home. You know, and ladies, ladies, it doesn't matter whether she's doing that from home. I want her. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, but what we need to do is we also need to believe women when they say this something happened. Because, you know, some people say, oh, he's a governor, he can do whatever he wants. You know, he can pay $100,000, you know, he, he doesn't need a, a chick from the street. But sometimes that's what they turn him on. So, we need to establish boundaries. And if, if an employee decides to say, you know, it's sexual harassment, then that's what it is. You got to believe your employee. So... Um, 2030 is what it is. So people so for what it's worth, um, those eleven women need, need justice, you know, the damage is beyond repair. And um I just hope the justice gets done. And yes, Andrew Como should resign. It's time for Andrew Como to go.